are we willing to actually face the shadow of, of the dominant culture? And what is that actually going to catalyze? It has it catalyzed. I think in, in all of us here and in, in this world we're trying to build. Just as the myths that have guided you know, our, our, the, the dominant civilization for so long, they're really beginning to break down. We're going through collapse, we're going through regeneration, we're going through you know, multiple iterations of story. One definition of synchronicity is really uh, that it's sort of this higher order, perhaps, that you know, a lot of us may not necessarily be able to draw the, the connections to. We might not say, well, clearly you know, that led to that, which led to that, and that's how I made it here. Um, but really this kind of surrender into that, that there's this deeper unfolding going on of which we were all part. I think we have the real possibility of uh, consciously creating these memes and then uh, injecting them in, into the noosphere in a way of accelerating uh, this more beautiful world. Think about film as a tool that in fact uh, sacred economics I crafted deliberately for people who were already doing the work on the ground and needed something in which to galvanize people to get involved. So I encourage you to think about, again, as you're crafting these, these stories, um, how are they used as tools for people to really bring this more beautiful world home? Oh.